So we've talked a bit about where Power Apps fits in the bigger picture and how it's part of a business application platform here at Microsoft. But what can Power Apps actually do for you? What can we build on the platform? What opportunities does it enable? Let's spend a bit of time talking about what's possible here, what customers can do, and then we'll dive into uh, learning about how you two can, uh, can be successful and build on top of these tools. Before we do, though, let's talk a bit about how business applications work today and how they need to work. Uh, the truth is uh, most people are not sitting in front of all the controls, all the knobs, all the dials of their business uh, and, and having uh, great autopilot uh, you know, capabilities that light up for them at the flick of a button. We often think about business software that way. We think about uh, all, of the, all of the possible uh, opportunities that are available for navigation and data access and, and control and, and automation. Um, but the truth is, is that most of us don't actually sit in a command center all day long and most of our businesses don't run that way. Uh, most of us work in a, in a much much more focused and task-based orientation. Uh, and either that's because we're a knowledge worker that tends to be on the go, uh, that time shifts and, and needs uh, critical business information on a small screen, or because it's we're a frontline worker who's focused on a very specific task. Um, and whether that's uh, you know, an actual frontline customer service representative uh, or somebody operating in, uh, in a retail context or a back of office employee operating in, a, in an operations or manufacturing context, all of these employees need tools, they need, uh, they need great tools, uh, but they need focused tools and task-specific experiences, uh, which classic business software has, has frankly often struggled to deliver. Uh, but at the end of the day, we need applications that work the way we do. Um, and those needs are always very specific when we get into individual departments, individual roles, and individual employees. Uh, that's exactly where Power Apps um, has a great strength and offers a ton of opportunity. Uh, because with Power Apps, it becomes much easier to develop very task-specific applications uh, that, that focus employees on exactly what they need and are extremely customized uh, to the needs of any individual worker or line of business. Um, and, and don't just take our word for it. There are, there are already over a million monthly active users between Power Apps and Microsoft Flow working on the business application platform. Uh, people in over 200,000 organizations um, are using these products to solve problems um, that they have on their front lines and in their back offices. And, and just a few of those logos and names really range uh, a gamut of types of sectors of industries and sizes of companies. I'd like to spend just a little bit of time talking about some of these stories and examples uh, to, to really spark uh, your own creativity and your own ideas about what you two can build on the platform. Um, these examples really range in sophistication and, and also where they come from. Uh, the first one we'll talk about is NASCAR. Uh, NASCAR puts on hundreds of events every year, dozens of races, almost every weekend, a major production in a different city around the country. And they send hundreds of employees to, to these different venues and they need really great, quick information about where to go, where, to, where, to, where, where my post is, where to get my badge. Um, now, all of that information they've stored in SharePoint for some time, but delivering it to an employee on their own device as they're walking into a raceway at 7 a.m. before a, a NASCAR event, that's a whole different proposition. And NASCAR has been able to very quickly and easily mobilize that information that's in SharePoint, deliver it in a very user-friendly way uh, to their employees on the front lines, and get it across iOS, Android, even, even Microsoft Windows Phone devices uh, very quickly here with, with Power Apps. Uh, employees are able to log in, very quickly click on the, a race that's upcoming, and see great information about maps of that raceway, uh, where they need to go and, and task specific instructions about what they need to do when they get there. Um, another customer, G&J Pepsi, they're the largest independent family owned Pepsi bottler uh, in North America. Um, and that means a couple things. It means uh, for one, they, they cover a territory of uh, about 41 counties in, in, the, in the middle of the country. Uh, they serve everything from uh, large format grocery stores to uh, uh, individual uh, convenience stores and gas stations. And they stock over 400 Pepsi products in those places. Which means they have a lot of people constantly on the road, going into retail locations all day long, auditing inventory on the shelves, taking stock of what's there, uh, reporting where there are problems, and ordering new new, new inventory. Uh, but the fact that they're, they're a, a family-owned regional bottler also means that they don't have a massive army of software developers. They don't have a massive IT department or budget. In fact, uh, they have about two people who are focused on building innovative experiences. And they've been able to, to use incredible productivity out of this platform, build great task-specific experiences for their employees who are going into those stores and 
auditing those shelves, uh, that contribute data back centrally in a way that has really made a meaningful impact in the efficiency of their business and the ability to, to very quickly keep shelves stocked and order the right amount of inventory and get intelligence on the ground about what, uh, about what their business needs. Uh, and they've been able to do it in a very fast and iterative way on the platform. Uh, and then and the last example we'll share as we sort of work up this level of, of sophistication uh, is Transalta. Transalta is, a, is an energy company that operates uh, hydroelectric uh, plants and wind turbine farms across North America. Uh, they have a very specific business problem. Uh, in this case, uh, you know, a problem they had was when a, when a turbine emits a, a functional failure alert, uh, and it's in, it's in a far northern rural part of, of Canada, and it emits this alert at 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Um, how do we decide whether we put a specialized repair crew on a plane that morning, fly them up there to rural Alberta and fix this turbine, uh, or can we afford to wait until next Tuesday when they're going to be there on their regularly scheduled rotation anyway? That's a hard decision to make. It's hard for a frontline worker in a call center internally when they manage that alert and see that alert coming through to put the models together to, to make that decision. They, they have a lot of data already at their fingertips. There are energy market forecasts and weather forecasts and information information about the alert and historical data, but how do you pack that into a screen that helps that frontline employee react quickly and make a good decision in that environment? Uh, Transalta was able to use Power Apps to connect to those existing data sources, put together a decision framework tool for those frontline employees. Uh, they built it in just a few weeks and it paid for itself in the first two weekends because they were able to work on this very high productivity platform uh, using Power Apps and, uh, and its ability to connect to data. Uh, so those are just a few examples of what's possible here with Power Apps. And we are so excited for what you will be able to build on the platform uh, as you go through the rest of this, this course and, and learn more about what's possible here. Thank you.